Now to solve this uploading issue of bigger file, we are going to use a technique called chunking. That means we have 50k records or 1 million record. We are going to chunk or we are going to break the big CSV file into a smaller file of 1000 records each, storing that file into our Laravel or somewhere else. And then behind the scene, we are going to upload one by one. This is going to be interesting thing. So let's get started. So first, when we choose the file, just like this, we have chosen a 50K record. And now when we click on upload, instead of directly reading and uploading, doing both of these things at the same time, we are going to first chunk and create a new CSV file with all the chunks of this one. So how we can do that? It's uh, going to be interesting thing. First, I'm going to create a chunk. So let's say chunking file. And here we have the record, which is actually the data. Full data is the record. Then here we are going to create the chunking. For that, we are going to use array chunk. And then first is the input. Second is the size. Input is the data. And size is going to be the 100 or maybe thousand record per chunk. So I call it chunks because we get lots of chunks. Okay, so this is good. And first I'm going to check what we are getting when we have this. Or maybe just for now, I say count of this and how many chunks we are getting for 50K record. Uh, usually we get 50 records obviously. So click on upload and yep, we get 50. That means we have the 50 record. And now what if I check the first one only and one more time reload and yep we get thousand records and each record is having an array of the data we have. Amazing. So since we have the data now we are going to convert back the data to a file. So how we can do that. So here I can say convert uh, thousand records into a new CSV file. It's very easy. We say file put contents and uh, where we are going to put uh, file name. We need to give the file name. So it's going to be uh, inside an array because we want for all chunks. So for each of uh, chunks as uh, key and value. So value is actually the chunk and key is the real 0, 1, 2, 3. So loop index maybe you call it. Okay, so inside this, I'm going to create the name. So first, how we can create the name? Name is going to be the file or temp file. So I say TMP, but uh, let's use with the TMP and the key name. So this is going to be the TMP 0.csv, TMP 1.csv like this. But then where's the path? Path is going to be the resource path. You can put it anywhere you want like in the resource path in a public path anywhere so let's use the resource path and inside that i'm going to create a new file called new directory called temp this is a directory inside this directory i'm going to have it so here i can simply say uh, inside resources file a resources path i need temp and here in the first argument we need the file name with the original path so here comes a path we want to append or add the name so this is going to be the slash temp and then name okay so this is the one and second is the data which is the chunk okay so we got this one and uh, i'm going to comment this uploading part we don't want that but before checking let's see what path actually we are getting so path dot name so let's try this one Go here, choose a 50k records, click on upload and undefined variable zero. Okay, so we need to remove this thing and one more time reload. And yes, we are getting this uh, uh, million upload record resources temp and temp zero. Cool, so we are having this. Now, if I refresh one more time and this is going to say array to string conversion. Okay, one more time we get the issue. We are not having anything inside. Oh, we have this anything. <laughs> we have this. So you can see array, 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 array. We don't want the lots of arrays. We want the real data. And for that, 
we need to actually remove this array conversion and for now i'm just going to comment and then remove because later we will need that okay so now we have one temp file we can remove it and now one more time reload this page and this is going to say done and we have a 40 or 50 actually total files so since we have these files inside our um, uh, resources stem file we can then after doing that we can then do the upload part in a new separate route now if we try to do the same thing here <laughs> that's not going to solve the problem so what we actually need we need to create a separate route so go to the web.php file and create a new route called uh, a get route maybe or i can say uh, store data this is a route i'm going to create and this is going to be the sales uh, controller and uh, this is going to inside of uh, a store is done actually uh, this is going to be the create or uh, upload maybe and then we need the store Okay, so we need to rename this one. This is going to be the upload. And after that, we can create the store. Okay, so in this store, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the path. So path is the resource path. We can copy the path from here. We have this. And uh, this is the path actually. And then what we need next, we need to grab all the files from this so files is going to be the glob we are going to use the glob and this is going to say whatever path i have and inside that path grab me all that means asterisk csv so all csv is going to be the thing let's return the files we are getting from this store this is going to be the uh, store not a store store data actually and if i go reload this page yes you can see all the files 49 or actually 50 files we have here now since we have all these files data or files name actually then we can loop over them get the data from this and then upload it one by one let's do this thing so we have this file so we can say for each of this file so it's going to the files as file and first i'm going to read the data so data so one more time array map and this is going to be the str underscore get c csv and from this file and from the file actually we need to say it's a file and grab me the data once we have the data first uh, we we know uh, we need to have the header so what we have done here we have removed the header and we just have the data how we can grab the header hmm, this is going to be the challenge so what i'm going to do i'm going i'm not going to remove the header from here so this is going to chunk all these things and uh, then we will have the data or the column name you can say header in the first ever file we have so i'm going to remove this temp file because i'm going to recreate the temp directory not file <laughs> directory and then one more time let's upload so go to the upload part upload choose the 50k records click on upload and that's done and this time the first one is having the uh, header okay so since we have the first one as the header here i can say the first one if the I can say the key so i need the key here so key and the file so if key is equal to the zeroth key that means the first file we are having then grab me the header and header is going to be the data and data first and then unset the first data data first and we are unsetting so once we have unset the data and actually we need to have a global data so the header is going to be a array and on the header we have this once we have the header then it's going to be the easy thing which is easy like this so we can copy this from there and paste it 
okay so we are creating the sales data from from header and data and then we have a sales create the data okay and finally we say uh, stored this time we are going to say so what we are doing one more time we are getting the path we are getting all the file we have inside that directory we are having an array of headers which is a global one for the first loop we are going to grab the header unset the header from the first file then combine the header because now header is in a global one so for every loop we will have the data for the header we will combine the header and the data then creating the data inside the database so database is empty now we already have the chunked file or chunked csv we just need to go to the store data hit this file or this route it's, it says combine both should have equal number of element what happened here okay so data 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 okay so one more uh, for loop we need so for each of uh, uh, you can say data as uh, what we can call it as uh, sale <laughs> yeah we can have this and then we can say okay inside that this is going to the sale and array combining sale with the header okay this is good one more time hit this route and now it's uh, one more time taking time but this is behind a new route and uh, what we can achieve with this thing is you can see the data is uh, increasing in the database so we can actually now put all these things into the queue because we know this is going to be the background process now after one and a half minute we have all the 50 records and stored but still we have not solved the problem of uh, blocking the user interface also we are taking lots of time in front of the user let's put it on the queue job